Hi, I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. This video is part of my men's clothing fit guide. To see the other articles and videos in this series, check out this link here or click here. So let's talk about how your blazer should fit. Honestly, your blazer should fit exactly like how your suit jacket fits. There should be no difference between the two in regards to fit. But I thought it would be really fun to create this exciting new video showing you how your blazer should fit. I swear on the life of my non-existent children that this video is nothing like the video I made regarding how your suit jacket should fit. Do you think they're seriously gonna fall for this? I'm not even wearing the same outfit. I have Michael here to help demonstrate how your blazer should fit. So let's take a look at the blazer's collar. Now, your collar should lie against the back of your shirt collar, which in turn should lie against your neck. You wanna make sure there's no significant gaps in between your blazer collar and your shirt collar. Moving on to the shoulders, you wanna make sure that the seam hits where your shoulder ends. There shouldn't be any wrinkling, which sometimes very cheaply made laser will wrinkle right here. And there shouldn't be a divot in the shoulder, which divots usually happen when the shoulders are too tight. So make sure that the shoulders aren't too tight or too large because it's gonna be pretty costly and difficult for a tailor to fix. With regards to armholes, luckily, Today, most lasers are made with higher armholes. You just wanna make sure though that it's not so high that it's cutting, literally cutting into your armpits. So Michael, how does this feel? Feels good, not too tight. This is how an armhole should look and feel. Now, a lot of the older laser, the armholes are cut bigger and it actually makes you look super broad and terrible. But usually today you don't have that problem, but just be careful. You want higher armholes, but not so high that it cuts into your armpits. So with your laser sleeves, you wanna make sure it's a nice tailored fit throughout the arm. You don't want it to be so tight that it's hugging your muscles, but you also don't want it to be so loose where you really lose the shape of your arm. With regards to the perfect sleeve length, it's a great test that I have is bend your wrist with your palms facing down, the laser cut sleeve should end a quarter of an inch above the bend of your wrist. That way, that same amount of shirt sleeve can peek through like we have here. You wanna make sure that the laser lightly hugs your midsection when it's buttoned, like we have here. It shouldn't create a nasty X. That's what you don't want. That means it's too tight if it creates this kind of X. But also, if it's loose and there's a lot of room in the front where you could pull the button forward, no problem because a tailor can easily take in the sides and correct that. Let's take a look at the back because this is the second part. You always want to make sure a well-fitting suit should hug the natural curve of your back. That's how you can tell that a blazer fits nicely or poorly. But turning you around, Michael, your button stance. That's also very, very important. You want to make sure that the top button hits just above your belly button right here. Nothing higher because or lower because it actually starts to throw off the proportions of your body. And while you're at it, for a two-button notch lapel laser, always, always fasten the top button, but never this bottom button. The length of your laser dictates how balanced your upper body is to your lower body. If you're 5'9 and under, you want the length of your laser to hit mid-crotch. If you're taller, like Michael is, you want it to end around mid to lower crotch. A tailor can always take up the length of the laser by about an inch, but nothing more than that because it starts to throw off the proportions of the laser. And a tailor can never let lengthen a laser because there's just no fabric to even let out. So that's how your blazer should fit. I hope you enjoyed my completely new video. To see all of my favorite blazers that you should definitely own, check this link out right here or click here. This video is part of my men's clothing fit guide. Check out my website for a more in-depth article and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you like this video, send $5 to this address or if you're a cheapskate, then I guess you can just give me a thumbs up. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.